For the last 24 years, New Zealand had been in a state of depression, having lost the last five Rugby World Cups in a row. The biggest upset in the whole of Rugby World Cup history. And with Heineken named official sponsor of the 2011 World Cup, opportunities for Steinlager to help looked slim. Legally forbidden from involvement, we looked to the brand's heritage, and we realised that if Steinlager was there the only time we won back in 1987, we should be there this time too. So our idea was to relaunch the same white can that was there last time we tasted victory and position it as a lucky charm for this year's cup. TV told the story of a fan saving his can from the first cup. I think I'll save you for the next one. Come on, boys. Let's do it again. The ongoing campaign then linked our product with the team's success, and it worked. We shot straight to number one canned beer in the country, with bars stocking them for the first time in two decades, fans smuggling them into games, and t-shirt retailers making their own prints. And when the final whistle went, the open can became a symbol of the country's success, from print and TV that ran the next day. to a cartoon in the nation's largest paper, to the players themselves who chose to drink our beer out of the cup instead of the Heineken they were legally obliged to. At the campaign conclusion, 4.5 million cans had been sold, outselling Heineken during the cup, despite having just a fraction of the budget. Our product idea reinvigorated a brand and quite possibly helped end a 24-year jinx for the nation's favourite sons. Not bad for an old white can. <laughs>